Hello and welcome to Point of View. SpaceX took a huge step closer to the much-anticipated Starship Second Integrated Flight Test with mating Starship 25 with Booster 9 to create a monstrous stack ready to blast off. After it kicked off September with a flurry of launches and an astronaut landing, SpaceX is busy moving towards its next Starship test flight. The rocket company has successfully integrated the second stage of the Starship rocket with its first stage, and all eyes are on Boca Chica, Texas as the firm races to the next Starship test. On the run-up to the big day, SpaceX has already conducted crucial static fire tests of the Starship Super Heavy Booster, leaving a handful of tests before the rocket can light up dozens of its engines and attempt to reach orbit. Developing the Super Heavy Booster is a crucial part of the Starship test campaign, and so far SpaceX has been busy ironing out the kinks in the rocket, of which there have been many. One of the toughest problems in Starship development is lighting up all the 33 rocket engines at the same time. The latest static fire test saw 31 engines sustain ignition with two conking out within seconds. If you remember, the first test flight in April had the same issue when some of its engines malfunctioned during flight that ended in a giant fireball. However, the rocket managed to successfully fly to the point of stage separation before its self-destruct systems were activated. The second Starship test flight will be critical as it will be the first time SpaceX will take the hot stage separation mechanism for a spin. This involves lighting up the second stage's engines while it's still attached to the first stage booster. For this portion of the flight, SpaceX has installed a venting ring on top of the Super Heavy Booster. Starship second stage, which was stacked on Super Heavy Booster 9 yesterday was placed on top of this ring. This allowed SpaceX to verify the newest addition to the Starship rocket and workers continue to work at this area after the rockets were stacked up. Visuals of the stacking were captured by several Starship fans with footage showing the second stage Starship being lifted up by SpaceX's massive chopsticks at the launch tower for final integration into the Starship stack. Unlike SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, which are assembled for launch horizontally, Starship uses chopsticks to place the ship on the booster. These chopsticks are also a key piece of the rocket's reusability, as they are designed to catch the first stage booster upon its return to Earth and then quickly prepare it for another launch. A Starship stacking is not an indicator of an impending test flight, as it is possible that SpaceX decides to destack the rockets for further work. However, the crucial static fire tests are finished, indicating that perhaps SpaceX has to conduct a wet dress rehearsal of the full stack before it pulls the trigger on the second flight test flight. SpaceX has provided official confirmation of the stacking but still has to receive approval from the FAA for the test flight. The company has to convince the regulator that any systems that pose a hazard to either humans or the environment during the first test flight have been upgraded for the second test. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.